perfect timing on the song. I, I really wanted to use that song last week. I had the idea last time we did the culinary stream. But I looked it up and it was copyrighted in the YouTube database thing, the, the, the giant evil robot that does the copyright thing. So I, I, I didn't do it. But this time I thought, you know what, to hell with it, maybe I won't archive this one. This will be one of those... I, I was going to do a secret stream yesterday with the, the, the Justin RPG, but I decided to archive that one. This will be a secret one. And it won't get archived, so copyright's not even a concern. That was Nine Pound Hammer with Run Fat Boy Run. <laughs> Anybody who played Tony Hawk's Underground will remember that one. Uh, very, very appropriate lyrics for a, a delicious culinary stream like today. Welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. I was just, uh, I was just up. I, I have a brand new crazy concoction. It's, you know those, like, like, caramel milkshake things that you get in the dairy section? I got one of those, and I mixed it with some espresso vodka. <laughs> this was the thing I used to wake up when I was a kid at, like, 6 a.m., and I'd drink two of those little caramel milkshakes, and I'd watch my cartoons. I remember watching a show called Whatever Happened to Robot Jones. Those were the days, man. And then I played Pac-Man on my Game Boy Advance, because I, I had that for some reason. Um... <laughs> And now I'm a questionably fully grown adult, and I'm I'm having it with uh, vodka, like like a, a respectable uh, member of society. So, uh, so how how far have I come? Uh, so today's stream is going to be a return to the culinary thing. From uh, I think this was Monday we did the first first part. I'm not sure exactly when, but yeah, we we took a look at some uh, cooking with Jack. I have my list here actually. We, we looked at some Cooking with Jack, we looked at some uh, DSP cooking videos. I think there was something else we looked up too, but I, I don't really remember off the top of my head. Uh, this week, oh yeah, K, K's cooking, that's right. How could we forget K? This week, K is not going to be joining us, however, uh, because we have a new guest of honor, uh, and her name is Amber Lynn. Um, some of you probably know who this lady is. <laughs> And if you didn't know, she's a wonderful chef. Uh, we're going to watch some of her excellent cooking tutorials. Uh, followed by... I have a few options here. There's a lot of interesting cooks on YouTube. There's uh, somebody named Simply Sarah. Which I don't know much about her, but, but she sure likes to cook a lot of food. Uh, densely packed food, one might say. In... in a lot, a lot of calories in a small geographical space. Uh, uh, there's also airsoft fatty cooking videos, apparently. iDubs just did a video about airsoft fatty, uh, which is like a, a documentary or something. I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, you know, it's not a Kickstarter crap, so I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm sorry, iDubs, but may maybe next time. Um... Yeah, and then of course there's the Slayton sisters. All, all of these individuals and more we may we may get to in the stream, but uh, first of all, we have to kick things off into high gear with our girl, Amberlyn Reed. Um, now, I did do a video a while back about uh, Amberlyn, amongst others, uh, and their 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 mukbang escapades. Uh, it was actually Fuzhou Bain. I, I still don't know how to say his name, but <laughs> a lot of you probably watch him. Uh, he, he's, he's had a few pretty banger vids uh, in the past month. I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe. I sound like J Station. Oh my god. Um, yeah, he, he, he set, set me up with these videos from, uh, it was, it was Amber Lynn, it was Joey's World Tour. Uh, and it was some other fella who was eating, like, chicken wings and cheese sauce or something. Yeah, so we looked at Amber Lynn before, and a lot of people got mad at me because you can't make fun of somebody for their weight. And then a lot of other people got mad, uh, got, well, not mad at me. They, they got not mad at me, and they said, yeah, I'm like 600 pounds, and fuck Amber Lynn. So it was a mixed response. <laughs> But the, the takeaway at the end of the day, from what I understand, is that Amber Lynn is not a very nice person. Uh, I, th I think I've heard that she's kind of a bit of a lying individual, uh, who kind of... Well, I know she, she makes up, like, she says she'll go on a diet, and then the next day she quits the diet. 
and she expects people to have sympathy for her, even though she's done this for like years. And eventually, at some point, she realized, didn't didn't Right Opinion do a video about her? I think he was the one who said, like, at some point she realized that there was just more money in it. It was more lucrative for her to just be fat, because that was the brand. <laughs> if she got thin, it's like how there's no, there can never be a, a, a successful, uh, a, a, a TV series can never end, like, happily, because there's always got to be the next season. Because if it's successful, why would you stop at just the, just that, those, that many seasons? It's like the same thing, except now it's real life and it's, uh, <laughs> it's impacting people's health potentially. So, here we are. Get this brought up. Badoop. There you go. Amberlynn Reed cooking. And we could watch this. It's a compilation video from somebody named Some Thought. I tried watching this earlier. I thought it would be commentated, but I think it was just a compilation sort of thing. This might be a, a mashup of the better moments, but I personally, I, I prefer to find my, my succulent, juicy shack meat in the wild. Picked right from the tree, as all shack meat should be. Uh, and I, I, we, we have to just watch the videos uh, as, as, they, as they are. TAKE ME AS THEY ARE! Oh god, Dream Theater. Um, so this is Cook With Me. This is from Amberlynn Reed. This is from like about a year ago. May 21st, 2018. I don't know what this could be about. This could be a very nice recipe. Who knows what we're in for? Let's see. I'm sure people in chat have suggestions for recipes. Quote unquote recipes. That we'll get to uh, shortly. But for now, let's, let's take a look at this one. This is the first one that came up. I think it was. Was it? Well, it was the first one that isn't memes <laughs> that came up, so let's let's watch this. Uh, but first, let me just just analyze the chat here. DD is a Dream Theater fan. You know, have you ever listened to a band and thought, boy, I could sure do better than that main singer? That's like me with Dream Theater. I'm not even that good of a singer, but that's, that just goes to show you. <laughs> Good band, but, oh man. The moment James Labrie tries to be like, like, like metal and tries to get like, you know, a growl going on, he just, <laughs> it's so, it's so adorable. Update on the very adult beverage. Uh, very grown up uh, chocolate milk and caramel. Woo! Really lost my fucking... Mike, Jesus Christ, I'm drunk already. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've also got the emergency de jack st sitting here on the table still. So, if things get really bad. If I need an extra excuse to vomit, then, then great. Uh, let's see. You think Amberlynn Reed realizes that it's like a sexual thing for some people to watch Big Girls eat? Oh yeah. I mean, if she reads the comments, yeah. I'm sure there's no shortage of fucking weirdos. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Are you like Josh, a feeder? No, no, I promise. <laughs> it just so happens that we've watched uh, more than one fat chick eat in the last week. Uh, uh. Amber Thin Reed. People are posting hieroglyphics in chat. <laughs> or are those, are those moon runes? If I pull the, if I pull that claw off, will you die? She also lies about how long the diet lasts. One week is ten minutes in Amber World. Our girl and her orange chicken. A dollar ninety-nine from Grim Cathedral. You can't top the special rice woman. Hey, if you want to look at some special fried rice later, I'm I'm afraid that might be a little too hot for YouTube. Becky is allowing this. As a hefty boy, I hereby give Claw the fatty equivalent of the N-word pass. I'm gonna say it. I'm really gonna say it. Uh, Nico Cotto. We might look at we might look at some Nikocado, per, perhaps. Uh, isn't he the one that like cries while he eats or whatever? Uh, yummy diabetes snacks. Airsoft fatty is a genuine dude. I heard he was like a lion piece of shit from the Primink video. I don't know. I haven't watched that in a while, but uh, maybe maybe he's all right. I don't know. Uh, sounds vegan. <laughs> I love- somebody's singing about their love for Reshiram in the chat, so. Alright. I think we're caught up pretty well. 
the one that cries or whatever is a pretty good description. All right, Yo. here we go. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna be making some food, obviously. Oh boy, I can't wait. I'm making a whole chicken tonight. Some green so. beans, some edamame. So I'm 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 raring to go. Edamame, but same thing. Onion and some of these chicken sausages in sweet Italian style. So. Okay, well this actually looks vaguely healthy. What the fuck? This can't be. This can't be memes. She's got her honey ons uh, there. Before it goes bad. So I'm just gonna cut it. It's not really Big slices. It's not really how you cut onion. Hi, but, okay. What's mama's baby do? <laughs> Guess it's close enough. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so. As I said, this video might actually be a perfectly ordinary, delicious recipe. It might not be something disgusting. We, we don't know. So far, it looks like fucking edamame and green beans and, like, weird fucked up chicken sausages or whatever that was. It looks disgusting enough to be healthy, so, uh, you know, maybe. Got that already done. Get myself a pot. Okay, then. Oven. So far, she's doing better than K, at least. Eat. <laughs> All that seasoning wants um, to have the. Sorry if I'm skipping around, but as I say, this one does seem to be just an ordinary recipe. Cut. So Not off to the best start. Right now, but. I mean, everything's relative if you think about it. If you came here expecting, like, her to make, like, seven pizzas and eat them all at once, I mean, that would have been unhealthy, but this is disgusting and healthy, so... I'm only gonna have two. So, it depends on your perspective, really. Gee, Amberlynn, why does your mom let you have two sausages? Struggling with that, are you? Need some but trouble. I'm myself. I mean, having some trouble. Okay. Fuck. These are so good. What the fuck is that? Like a Cut. chicken sausage or something? Didn't she say she was having just two? Did not she say she. Hang on. Hold the fort. Where did she say that? She, she did. I know she okay. said that. So I'm gonna make all four right oh, now. Oh, okay. But I'm only gonna have two. Ah, oh, I see. All right. Well, it all checks out then. So she's pairing the sausages, right? As you do. Perfect timing. Although I think you probably want to take the casings off of the sausages first before you. Oh, it's fine. Gotta go stir my onions real quick. I think you mean honey I on. Got some chicken out. She's gonna make tonight for herself. Who cut? Who who cooks onion in these big like blocks like this? These will all break apart, obviously. I mean, yes, I understand that, Amberlynn, but I'm just saying you could break them apart yourself, and it's it's like not that hard, and it's a more even cook, you know. Once they start cooking a little bit more, then I just cut them. Whoops. Yeah, see, this is why you get rid of the casings, because otherwise this happens. Alright, so she's cutting the sausage. Sausage. The onions Ew. and sausage is on the bottom, then we have oh, a layer of green beans and then the edamame and I have some sriracha. This is leftover green beans. Lots of edamame. And now I'm reminded why I eat pizza like three times a week. What I did here is... Uh, just it's amazing. I'm making fun of her when she's trying to eat healthy. I'm probably going to make fun of her when she stops eating healthy in the next video. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amberlynn. I don't think you can win this one. This is a stream where uh, the, the odds are stacked against you. I'm, I'm kind of here to, to have a laugh one way or the other. Uh. <laughs> Seasonings, Mrs. Dash, and pepper. Leftover this. So, hot. Okay, I haven't colored in 
So that's like less than half of the video. What the fuck's the rest of the video? It's been like a week. But I wanted to update you guys on my little picture that I was doing. She's got a coloring book? What the fuck? How old is she? <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's an age limit on coloring books. You know, like 9 to 99? I'm pretty sure there's an age limit. It's like 9 to... It's like 1 to 9 and that's it. And once you're into double digits, it's fucking weird. See, I really haven't colored much, but... Women get away with all this shit where they get to act like fucking pre like toddlers and it's fine. <laughs> because they're women, I guess, and it's okay. They get to draw in coloring fucking books like like they're children. But if a man did that, it's like, are you special? Are you are quite all right, sir? <laughs> Double standards. That's uh, what I have so far. Although I guess we can't compare Amberlynn to every woman. Far. So. Super cute. Becky already completed mm -hmm. hers because we both got one. Right. And this is how hers looks what? completed. Who and who is Beffy? Is that like a five-year-old? Is she beating you at this Look at game? That. Whoever this is did a much better job. <laughs> so. I'm so sorry. Now I'm just being too mean. Relaxing. So. Um, she actually started the next one too. I love that. That is gorge. And that's really pretty too. Okay, I can see maybe why somebody might want a coloring book if they're gonna be like all nice like this. I don't know who did this one, but this is not this is not bad. Some of the coloring, pretty nice choices. Not bad. I could see how that might be a thing, but somehow, so, somehow when it's Amberlynn, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I. But dang those flowers, girl. Dang. But yeah. What the? F who's this? Are you really? No. Oh, you are. Do your thing, boo. Oh, I'm waiting for him to get back in here. Boo. <laughs> Oh god, Austin Eruption, what have you done? We're just gonna do a little bit of behind the scenes. This is how it looks when he vlogs. <laughs> who is this fucking- who is Seth Rogen over here? <laughs> 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 vlogging <Yeah>. with Amberlynn! <laughs> Vitamin water zero in strawberry lemonade. Okay. Yeah, hey guys. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> this is how it is behind the scenes. Oh, you didn't know. Wait, are you already vlogging? I don't know anything about Amberlynn Reed, so I, I just, I like, I assume it's just her and nobody else could stand to be around her, but, like, well, okay. here it is. She's white. Yeah, she's like, fine. Okay, alright. Oh, God. Oh, you got a girl with Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, bitch. Couldn't you stay- man, you know, Amberlynn, I gotta say, you, my dear, have a face for f vlog direction, and perhaps writing. Maybe you could be the best boy. Maybe the gaffer! I don't know about the starring role. Also, you might want to realign these fucking pictures. This is gonna drive me fucking nuts. Look at this, they're just- com both of them are off-center. This is a violation. In, uh, it's not improv. I don't know. It's uh, it was there. I saw it. I grabbed it. She put on there. Put some ranch on it, and it does roll up. So. Oh, you got it too. It was a pizza yeah. roll. Mm -hmm. I like it. I give it a ten out of ten. Looks good. Oh, like you didn't try it. Though. Oh wait, you did give me a bite. <laughs> this is content that you that you subscribe for, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. It's just a couple people having a conversation. Uh, God. Yeah. Calories and this and that. I just oh. did these nails last night. Oh. Do people oh. want, like, why? <sighs> um, got an apple and three string cheeses. Uh huh. We're playing Sky Joe. That is by far the most appetizing thing we've seen on one of these cooking streams yet. What the fuck is this game? Oh, God. We actually haven't played, like, board games or card games in a long time, so. Can somebody edit? Oh. Can somebody edit this part here where the camera swings around? Can somebody edit this to be the like the Cloverfield monster, or maybe Godzilla, or like I don't know, one of the Eva angels, something like that. Oh, what the fuck is this specimen? <laughs> that is a this this face here, just showing up, just jumping ahead and skipping ahead to this face here. That is the oh shit. Was that a fart or 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 something more? Hold on. <laughs> no, seriously, hold on. I'm taking 
cuts off because I'm getting hot. Oh. This is like so far removed from a from a cooking stream at this point. People are joining and they're like, "What? Why was this a culinary stream, Deadwing Dork? You lied to us, you lying liar who lies." But it was like at least part of the video was cooking. It was I it was the part that I mostly skipped like, over because it was on. boring. You guys, guess what Becky just found out. Oh god, don't us. take off layers okay. of clothing. You should have seen her reaction, let's be honest. <laughs> this has blown my mind. Her mind is blown. And I'm sure there's probably going to be some people who didn't know that. Uh, what is it? <laughs> News stands for Notable Events, Weather, and Sports. Is that not crazy? <laughs> Alright, I, I didn't know that actually, so that's the more you know, ladies and gentlemen. News. Definition of news. I thought it was just because it was the news. Because it was the new z, you know? The, the z of the day. Uh, you know, like, I thought it was just like a, an abbreviation because it was the, the news, you know? Hey, what's, what's new in the news? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if this is true. That's so, baby, I love you. Okay, well, I'm thinking, I am thinking that the cooking is done for now, so, uh... So that's fine. That that's that video. She didn't do that bad. It was okay. Here is a compilation. I guess we can watch this. I hope it's not fucking edited with like a bunch of oh my god. Ugh. Fuck off. Literally good morning. Is this edited? Does this have like a bunch of uh, fucking cool 35. memes? Yeah, it does. Never mind. It, we'll go back to the old, the old method of just watching her, her own stuff. Chili soup recipe. Super easy dinner idea. Meal prep with me. Awesome. Just, just awesome. Let's check the chat. If any of you have any suggestions for Amberlynn cooking videos, please, 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 please let me know. Uh, I'm afraid to ask, but what's FUPA? Well, it's the Fair Use Protection Act, silly. Uh, are they from the Isle of Lesbos? No, that's not. That's that's not. <laughs> Listen, it is just the news. The acronym is made up. Lol. I thought so. It's just like those rap a acronyms. What about the olds? Um, watch the right opinions video on her. Don't feel bad for Amberlynn. I I agree. She's. People, it's like with Chris Chan. People don't give her shit because she's fat. People give her shit because she's fat in spite of saying that she was trying not to be. And, like, expecting people to pity her for not, for still being fat. And, well, with Chris, it's different, but it's like, he's not, people don't shit on Chris because he's got autism. People shit on Chris because, in a di like, sec separate from having autism, he's also kind of a, a bad person who, like, it's like, has a bit of a history of saying things that, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I like Becky's hat. Is that a Andy Gillifinakis or whatever? <laughs> Sprinkle some fries on those cupcakes. Lol, Yasgorl XD. She has a fupa over her ankles. That's Becky, aka Necky. Oh man, you guys are... Women are much more brutal than I could ever hope to be. Like... I know this is like the la this is like the thinking woman's lol cow, Amberlynn. Most men don't give a shit because most men like don't want to have to look at her. <laughs> but <laughs> women like looking at her because it's like uh, I feel better because I'm not Am I, I I don't look this way. I'm not this way on the inside. I don't treat people this way, and I'm not this much of a fucking meme. <laughs> so. So, so women are especially cruel to, to Amber Lynn, I've noticed, uh, on a level. It's like, it's like teen girls in high school. You just can't even comprehend it. The lip smacking made of mashed potatoes. Um, the AIDS Brigade. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Two, two bucks from... I don't- I, you said your name was pronounced death, but you've also got an S on the end. So, uh, is it deaths? Deaths? Uh, I'm gonna go with deaths. Uh, two, two bucks. Beans, baby. Beans indeed. I'm thinking about those beans. Uh, so... Th thank you, by the way. Uh, so... 
trying to follow an Amberlynn re recipe. Recipe? Yeast? Kulmidi? Cook with Amberlynn? Creating a... Okay, chili soup recipe? I, I should check the chat again, see if anybody has any suggestions. Hmm, I'm Amberlynn and I have diabetes. T. a woman. <sighs> she says, cook with me, cooks for three minutes in a 15 minute video. Yes, that was, <laughs> that was, uh, egregious. Um, another gross food stream, yay. I mean, yesterday was a gross Justin RPG stream. Before that was a gross pamper juice stream. You'd think you, you would get the picture by now. <laughs> This this channel, this channel is essentially the plumbers of the internet. We go into the darkest depths of the sewer. Um, just, people are telling me to do the chili one, so let's do the chili one. I guess you mean chili hey soup. Guys, let's, so let's go. Here we go. Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel for another banger video. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. Sorry, I'm just adding the effects. It's necessary. Hey guys, so right now I'm gonna be making like a chili type soup type thing. I know a lot of people say that chili is supposed to be chunky, but Becky and I like it on like the soup side, which makes it really, really good. Uh -huh. So I wanted to show you guys the ingredients that I will be using. Black pepper, minced onion, garlic salt, four types of Mrs. Dashes, the table blend original. Okay, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. You've got four types of what's essentially salt. I mean, it, okay, it says salt free, but I don't know how much I trust that. Four types of what is more or less flavored salt and then garlic salt. I don't know. I, I don't know. Amberlynn, uh, sorry for the pause, I'm actually just sharing this. Every time I stream now, I forget to fucking share this, share the link. Uh, I don't, clearly don't have my routine down just yet. Uh, announcements, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, great, well, well, uh, I, I don't have my announcements thing on the quick, the quick, select on on mobile share things to 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 discord so i'm afraid the discord link is just not gonna happen Sorry. mobile and garlic and herb onion and herb minced garlic Tristan, post the ground cumin post cayenne the discord, pepper please. chicken broth mushrooms two things of ground turkey i prefer okay, well, hang on broth. hang on now let's go go back for to see the beginning of this party cheese salad again so it's like seven kinds of salt. And herb, minced garlic, garlic ground cumin, cayenne cumin, pepper, chicken uh -huh. broth, mushrooms, right. two things of ground turkey. I prefer the 90% lean, 10% fat. I hate it when these people do the shit with the fucking turkey and like ground fuck yourself. Like, no, just get your beef. Don't be an asshole. Like, Fucking ground turkey. I, I've had ground turkey before. It tastes like fucking trash. Ground pork is okay if you mix it with beef, but like, it's just all the, it's just such an American white girl on a diet kind of thing to do. Oh, I'm just gonna have a Diet Coke with my ground turkey. Like, fuck off. Can of black beans, can Lose of weight. kidney beans, don't, can don't, of chickpeas, fucking play around. chili packet. I, I use about three fourths of this tomato juice can, tomato sauce and some tomato paste. So first I'm gonna spray a little bit of canola oil spray. Okay, but can you can you maybe angle the camera so that it isn't, it, we don't have to see, this is And then we're gonna add though. the meat. Uh -huh. Why would you spray the, you don't need to do that, it's ground. Does nobody on the internet know how to fucking prepare ground meats? They're fatty on their own. They don't need lard in the pan, like fucking what's her name? And they don't need fucking canola oil spray. They're they're fine. Then we're gonna break it down. They are fine on their own. Even if they're lean, they're fine on their own. So while the meat is cooking, you're gonna wanna add some of the seasonings. We're gonna start with the minced garlic. Okay. Black pepper, garlic salt, minced onion. Okay. I don't know why everybody is recommending this one. This doesn't seem so bad so and far. And all the Mrs. Dash seasonings. Now, when you say all of them, now, you have four jars of Mrs. Dash seasoning. This could be interpreted in a number of ways. This could go either way. 
you could be using all four drawers. You could be using a certain amount of, <laughs> I don't know, but. And then you're gonna stir it. They so call some it of the seasonings won't be reason. added until later. You're gonna wanna add the mushrooms so they can cook with meat. I mean, at the very least, she's got more, like, sense than, than Kay in a kitchen. Like, Kay would probably just have the mushrooms raw on the side and cook the beef separate and not add any Mrs. Dash or garlic salt or whatever. Like, this is at the very least a step up from Kay. So, so far, it's not, it doesn't look that bad except for the fucking half measure that is, that is ground turkey. Fuck, fuck off with that. You're gonna add the chili powder. Then, after you stir that, you're gonna wanna add your chicken broth. So I did add all of that. Why chicken, but what, what, no, no, but what now, why? Why, chi why chicken broth though, why? I guess cause it's a soup, cause they're do cause she's doing it like a chili soup, which is stupid, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, do people add broth to chili? I, I guess it's different, because this is a soup and it's more liquidy, but... Usually you just add, like, tomato, and that's fine. Uh, maybe a little water, perhaps, but... Then the tomato juice. Okay. Okay, you definitely don't add tomato juice. I forgot to show you, but I also add diced tomatoes. A little bit of tomato sauce. Tomato... Okay, but why would you add a little... <laughs> I guess, why would you add a little bit of tomato sauce, but then add half a thing of fucking tomato juice? Why? <laughs> like, add the whole tomato sauce, and then add maybe a little bit of juice, because juice is not... Uh, okay, that's fine. Peace. Every Listen, everybody cooks differently. Maybe I'm the weird one. I am from Canada, after all. I'm probably crazy, you know? We call it pasta up here, so like... Then the possible. ground cumin... The cayenne pepper. I mean, this is... Stir that. I'm sorry. If people make fun of this lady for not being able to cook, at least she's putting in spices. There's seasonings happening. The, like, maybe my bar has been severely lowered by, like, like fucking K and, and <laughs> Jack. And DSP making fucking cup noodles, but, uh, like... This is probably going to taste then, okay. you would have rinsed your beans, and then you add those. Yo, is that beans? Those. And then for about 20 minutes, you just let it cook, marinate with each other. But remember minutes. to check on it and stir it occasionally. 20 minutes. So it is complete. No, it's not complete. Oh God, no, it's not complete. Uh, it's not. You let it simmer for like hours, not 20 minutes. These are minor things, though. Like, when I'm, I'm nitpicking pretty hard here because, gen overall, this is probably fine compared to some of the shit that we've seen now. But, uh, but yeah, don't, s you gotta simmer your chili longer than that. Come on. Becky's about to get herself some. Yeah, I'm so excited. How do you eat, like, ground turkey and all this, like, half measure weight loss shit? How do you eat like that and then also look. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying not to be mean here, but I, I, we can't ignore the obvious. <laughs> to, to put it another way, we can't ignore the elephant in the room. Okay, I'm done. Chili is <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yes. Okay, we're gonna also, why is she wearing the same shirt from the last video? <laughs> Does she only own one? Oh no. Also, also. Can we go back to right here? Becky's about to get herself some. Watch her reaction. Yeah, I'm so excited. Amberlynn's chili is... Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. I can't wait for the ch ch chili. Uh, so, yes. It's going to be good, good, good days. Very nice. -ies. Hey guys. Oh God, no. Where's Where's Lee? We need the test testa. So it is the next day. I really want to start vlogging for you guys again. So I'm trying to 
work up that momentum. You know, you know how people have been saying that Jim Carrey is the best choice for Eggman in the Sonic movie? I know this is going to sound radical because she's a female somewhat, but hear me out. <laughs> I would like to say I am pretty proud of myself because yesterday I drank... More than half a gallon of water. That's exciting because I haven't been drinking any. That is the very definition of not of something that isn't exciting. <laughs> Hi, I drank I drank a bunch of water. My name is Bob Blanstein. Any water at all? And it's weird when I start drinking water again, like that's all I crave. So ever since I started taking my Lexapro again, which I am taking it every single day, I don't want you guys to be worrying. I've been having like these really weird dreams. Usually I don't dream or if I do dream, I don't remember it. Every night I dream and every- That I am the, what's the, okay. I was gonna make a joke. Clayface from Batman. There you every go. Every time I wake up, I remember my dream. I almost forgot and the name, night, but I, I recovered it. Was it. so weird. I dreamt that a UFO was carrying the Statue of Liberty. Uh, and then all of a sudden, the aliens and the UFO created a tornado and I had to hold myself onto a car door uh -huh. and I was like flying up in the tornado trying to stay put. So, so this is basically, are you sure you didn't just watch that one scene in Man of Steel? Someone else was holding on to me and then we survived. Stay back, invincible son. Thank God. And all of a sudden the aliens created like a, like a hurricane, like water and like a and then the jesuits created an evil sentient burrito nami happened it was just crazy and then i was trying to find twinkie oh my <sighs> yeah you would and i was like uh, where's twinkie is that the name of her dog or something uh, fucking of course it is so again like half of the video is is just fucking nonsense uh <laughs> what is this trash Pillows, Pillow Mountain. I just love Pillow pillows. Mountain. I love blankets. I lo oh, that's why you look like that. Like okay. Right. Over with, but I'm just like over here. You don't have to watch the video if you guys hear. That's. Uh, I have to say yes. If you, if you don't like me making fun of a large woman, you don't have to watch the stream. You can go. Listen, I make fun of large men too. I make fun of small men, tall men, and small like. I, 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 I hate everybody equally, don't worry. Chomping. Twinkie's having her, her food, so she's eating right now. So anyways, right now- Okay, and, and, what, and how much of you is off, uh, off camera? I'm just, just, just asking questions here. Oh, Becky's at her mom's. Right, okay. So I can start leaving. I feel like one of those, one of those scammers, uh, one of those fake tech scammers every time I skip the video ahead. It's like- Kit Boga is just trying to tell his story about his prune juice cookies for his grandson, and and I'm just like, right, ma'am, okay, all right, your your card expires on. I don't want to yes, ma'am, okay. On Monday weigh in. All right, yes, ma'am. Time comes. Ha 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 ha! Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your card expires on. Options, which. Okay, well, I think we've got a general idea of the food part of this video. Uh, which, you know, is pretty much every part of the video. But there's more here, there's more here. These are not as good as I was expecting. I was thinking this was gonna be some K-level stuff, I gotta be honest with you. You know, you see... Uh, you see people, potentially, who have the physique of, of an Amberlynn Reed, and you think, maybe, th maybe their diet might be interesting to observe. All I'm saying, not bullying, definitely no bully, but... You know, you, you, some questions arise in your head. Same with cooking with Jack. You see a guy like Jack, you're like, hey, you know, I bet you eat party cheese salad every night. And there you go. But with Amberlynn, I think it's mostly like processed stuff or something. Because when she cooks, I mean, here you got vegetables. There's like chicken breasts and rice here. Honestly, there's not much else here. Everybody's memeing on her, <laughs> like... Everybody memes on her food, but it seems like the fucking healthiest meme food that I've seen on YouTube, at least. At the very- okay, Grandma's Recipe. I heard about this one. This is apparently a pretty bad one. This one's got a pretty bad <laughs> ratio here. So, this could be exciting. Uh, brace yourselves for impact. But before impact, let's just check the chat here. See what we got going on. Ba -doop -ba -doop. 
Oh, uh, why do my hashtags in the description say just an RPG and Pokemon? Well, you know, Snorlax joke. Uh, and also I forgot to <laughs> do the thing. Uh, hang on a second. Thank you for reminding me. Shitty Jeff Goldblum here. Hello. Uh, dip to that. Doop. Doop. Amberlynn Reed. Uh... Uh, Amber, just Amber Lynn, and then, uh, uh, po Pokemon. Yes, it's fine. It's fine. Um, there you go. Change is saved. So, bring this back up. Damn, she looks thin in 2015, does she? Hang on. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, you're right. She does look a lot better in this video. Just in this one frame alone, she looks... She has less of a... You know how you can... You know how when when you start getting, like, a bit flabby, like, on your arm or whatever, you can see, like, like shadows on your skin? I guess that's cellulite. I don't know what the... It's like... It's just, like, flab shadows. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> She's got less of that going on in her general complexion. You're right. Uh, oh, God. Wasn't this a weight loss channel? <laughs> Back to the chat, back to the chat. Amber lamps. Amber lamps! Um, cucumber boat XD. Um, your Wi-Fi has, vi has virus in the power cord, sir. Have you heard any of the kit bogus where he fakes driving to Walmart? The Walmart? Are you sure? Are you sure it wasn't the Piggly Wiggly? <laughs> I like when he makes the when he makes the 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 scammer like, yes, ma'am, the Piggly Wiggly. Please go to the Piggly Wiggly, ma'am. Yes, yes. Pick and Sandy's. <laughs> Time to take a pass. Where's my Twinkie? New cocky. Uh, I'm going to the mall. What do you want, Dead Wink? Can you get me, uh, can you get me one straw? Just a straw. That's all I need. Just, just one straw. Uh, we live in a drink water. <laughs> Boy, water doesn't automatically make you healthy. Her face is a literal circle. <laughs> um, I had buffalo chili once. It was great. Becky owns nothing but shirts, okay? Um, oh god, DD does cocaine. No, I just need a straw. Don't ask questions, it'll be fine. It's definitely not for anything weird. What if Mario pissed in your mouth? What the hell are you doing? Alright, back to the video. <laughs> um, bleh, no, we don't want that. Good go. morning, everybody. Good okay, afternoon. more like good afternoon, but that's, yeah, that's okay. That's right, you fuck. I have been having really bad sleeping schedule lately. I don't know how to fix it. I'm like, ugh. I try to wake up super early, and it just doesn't work for me because I'll go to bed super late. I gotta fix it somehow. Well, I'm making lunch instead of breakfast. <laughs> I'm making something my mother used to make for me. I wanted uh -huh. to kind of just... Make something like that for Crystal so she can experience Okay, let's just go over this real quick. What do we have here? We've got thin spaghetti, which is not spaghetti. Uh, it's not spaghetti. If it's thin spaghetti, it's no longer spaghetti. It's probably angel hair, uh, maybe spaghettini, but it's definitely not thin spaghetti. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, and then we've got some green onions. We've got bacon, pre-cooked bacon. There's soy sauce here. There's egg whites. This is going to be the party cheese salad of Amberlynn Reed, isn't it? Kind of. This just is going to be pretty bad. Make something like that for Crystal so she can experience it. It's and wouldn't you know it, I have to just say, wouldn't you know it, this is the family tradition. Of course this one's the family Super tradition. Super simple. Some plain spaghetti, scallion, a little Scunions, bit of crispy bacon. Yeah. This is already cooked, thank God. <laughs> A little bit Thank of soy sauce. God, I don't have to actually prepare my bacon like a f f 
normal person who cooks bacon. What? Why would you want pre-cooked bacon? Isn't it disgusting? I've never tried it because I'm not a barbarian. Us. And I'm also not too fucking lazy to cook some bacon. And some egg. Normally... Why? Okay, additionally, why do you have a fucking carton of egg whites? Couldn't you just get eggs? I guess this is easier, yes, but... Ugh. Um, it would be just regular soy sauce, but I got lights. And it would be oh yeah, that's gonna make the difference, sweetheart. That's gonna make all. Be sure to sip on that Coke Zero, honey. You be sure. Full egg, but I do egg whites. So I'm super excited for Crystal to try it. I have my water trying to boil. This is for the egg whites. It's so simple. I just gotta put this in the microwave, crisp it up, cut some of these. If you guys are ever in a hurry to make something. This is probably one of the best things you could try. Yeah, as long as I have all of those very specific disparate ingredients that don't belong together whatsoever. Uh, if, I, if I'm in a hurry to cook something and those are the only ingredients I have, I think I'd rather lose the other arm. I remember the first time my mom ever made it, I was just a kiwi little squirt way down here i was really and now she, and then she made it one time and look at look at you now really tiny and every time she'd ask okay what do you guys want for dinner i'd always say hey, grandma's recipe because that's what she calls it because it was her grandma oh boy that's some hardcore video editing folks grandma's recipe it's really close to home i do miss her a tonnage because she has her a own tonnage. life she's homeless she's going through what? like a lot so rain Excuse me? No, wait, what? It's really close to home. Oh, yeah. I do miss her. I bet you do. Yeah, a tonnage. She has her own life. She's right. homeless. Yeah, she has her own life. She's busy doing her thing, living her best life, being fucking homeless. While this bitch rakes in, how much were people saying in the chat? 4000 a month? Up to 15000 a month? Off of being a, a fat on the internet. No, we don't need to make maybe move Grandma in. That's not necessary. No, she's fine being homeless. That's the way she wants to be. Yeah. Gets to be out there with the youth of today, you know? She's going through, like, a lot. So yeah. Rain. And you have done nothing to help her, have wow. you? Nice dark clouds. I cannot believe it's starting to heat up. Summer is just coming. It's not even spring yet, and I'm already, I'm already worried about summer. I hate summer. I always yeah, shorten I my pasta. I don't like it when it's all long. It's harder to eat. Oh my god. Looks like it's- You fucking would. It's like, it's, it's like... <laughs> like... <laughs> you can't even eat long spaghetti. Are you fucking kidding me? You got uh, This is like, this is like, you know, you know the, the Nirvana song, In Bloom? He's the one who likes all our pretty songs. It's like a song about stupid people who don't get it or whatever. Who don't get the point, but they, they clap along. That's how I feel with this, this video right now. It's like, yeah, I'm a cook. Yeah, I've got pre-cooked bacon and fucking, like, <laughs> cut spaghetti like a baby and, like, a carton of egg whites. Yeah. No, I'm a cook. I'm Boy, cooking, I'm everybody. Here. I'm a- I'm a- <sighs> Oh my god. Push it down. Okay, Thanks I know for the this tap. might be weird, but who wants to join me in the traditional spaghetti throw? If this- Monkey? No! <laughs> if this sticks on the wall, it's done. I know it's done, do but let's see if it still really works. people really do that? <gasps> there it is! <laughs> that is too funny. I'll just kind of gently drop this here. When I, I thought that was like a thing, people. I now I'm just being an elitist because like I know how to cook spaghetti, like not an idiot. So I like I just I'm being I'm being unnecessarily mean, but uh. cook I make a mess. Look at we saw that over there, that over there. It's just Amber. When you wake up, you make a mess. I haven't even put this away. It's been out for like 15 minutes. I don't like when cold foods are out for too long. It's just, it creeps me out. I'm just a messy broad in the kitchen. Make sure. An idiot abroad, if you will. Okay, so she's got her scrambled eggs all cooked. Egg. 
Next. Remember the Sketty from last time, everybody. Uh, oh no, that wasn't last time. That was... That was a few streams ago, actually, when we were watching Kay and she made the Sketty. Uh, so... If you remember, Kay's Sketty recipe was, uh... Spaghetti... Um... Which she cooked incorrectly. She somehow managed to fuck up the pasta itself. And then beef and honey-ons. Not onions, honey-ons. And then no sauce. Just beef and honey-on and plain sp sketty, sorry. We, we want to get the terminology right. So, c keeping that in mind, crunchy, still not fully cooked sketty by K. Do you think that'll be better or worse than this? This scrambled egg, soya sauce, bacon, spaghetti monstrosity. This is the fucking kaiju of foods. Then we got ourselves our bacon. Uh-huh. Oh, very nice. Soy sauce. Gotta be careful. Don't wanna put too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, it comes out easy. Yeah, you wouldn't want to mess it up by adding too much soy sauce. That would be bad. And then, this is my favorite part of the whole meal. Topping it off. What is this? With some scallion. Green onions, right, yeah. So, that's the final product. What the fuck is this? Like, so it's dry spaghetti with, like, dry, like, egg white scrambled eggs with bacon oh my god that's so disgusting there's there's no fucking sauce or anything like what the fuck if you're gonna do spaghetti like this you gotta have it with some kind of like oil and or butter or some kind of flavoring of some some nature you you can't just uh, uh, uh. And to me, this is one of my favorite meals. Oh, uh, I'm one, sure. Eat like Amberlynn, everybody. Just, just go ahead. I should make this. You know what? I should fucking make this meal and try it on on fucking stream or something. I don't have the ingredients now, but maybe some other time. <laughs> I'll stream myself fucking making it. It'll be a a, a horrendous nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... It makes me so happy on the inside. I was really nervous. <laughs> okay, I didn't edit that. Yeah, it makes me so happy on the inside that I was able to eat my homeless grandma's recipe. You know, to keep her memory alive. Instead of, like, letting her move in with us or giving her money or something. That's nice. Alright, uh... Uh-uh. Crystal? Actually, you can get the box and I'll hold monkey. Okay, right. And now the rest of the video is just fucking nonsense. Got it. Uh, she's petting a fucking cat. She's reading a book and now... What the fuck is this? Because these are my smaller statement earrings. Oh, God. Fucking women. Alright, well, that's Amberlynn Reed. I think, I think that's probably good for now. She does have another chili recipe here. This might be a different one. It looks like all the same ingredients, though, so I, I don't know. Uh, cook with me plus mukbang. Taco soup, kimchi, fried rice. I might go for another video from her, but... We've been going about an hour. I might want to move on to... Okay, this one's got a lot of views. What's what's the deal with this one? All right, this one's pretty controversial. This one's short and pretty controversial. Maybe this will be good. Maybe this will be what we're here for. This will be what we crave. Okay, guys, I have been obsessed with making a kimchi rice. Okay. So I want to show you how I make it. I know this is not. Okay, step aside, Asian people. Amberlynn is going to tell you how to make kimchi fried rice. This is this is the be all anyway, end all opinion. Like, not traditional. I just want to let that be known because I make things my way and how I like them to taste. So it's wet because I just washed this. This is only if you want to, but I'm gonna use some olive oil. Okay. So I add onion. All right, we're good onion. now. Nothing too bad so far. 
obviously the main ingredient, rice. Hey, look, she cooked her fucking rice before she put it in the pan, unlike somebody else we know. Hi, people! Before you add anything else, you're going to want to just cook it a little bit. Stir it. Make sure it doesn't get burnt, because that is not the goal. I add are you sure we don't want to brown the rice a little bit first, though, Amberlynn? Are, are you sure we don't want to fucking turn the rice to charcoal because that's what Kay taught me I don't know it's like her it's almost like her her recipes have just gone completely to waste add some pepper some salt some garlic powder okay even though I added onion I'm still gonna add some onion powder right she adds like flavoring at least we gotta give her this no matter what I can say about this all right, she's better than fucking K. She's got flavoring in her cupboards, which is not a euphemism. Dear God, don't even think about that one. Uh, okay, right. Now soy sauce, got it. Sriracha, of course. Sriracha is definitely a meme ingredient, like... Like, everybody uses... It, it's, it's a joke ingredient at this point, but I like it because it's just... It adds spice and it doesn't taste disgusting. Like, jalapeno peppers are disgusting. They're bitter and fucking awful, but... But sriracha's like, yeah, you know. Nice little bit of flavor. Nice little bit of spice. It's a good overall thing. I can see why people have it with fucking chocolate ice cream and shit. Like, weirdos. Well, not really, Obviously, but... Obviously, add know, how much do. you they want because do. do some do people that. don't like that spicy and other people do. Now, this is the part that you guys are probably going to... What is going on here? Now, just what is going on in this frame of this video that we are watching? Is she about to add ketchup to fried rice? Is this going to happen? To quote Wooly, this could be the most optional fuck-up of the year. Question, but I do add some... You could be making perfectly fine rice, Amberlynn. Choose your next actions carefully. That's all I'm saying. By the power of belief, dear viewer, you can will her not to put the ketchup into this rice. I promise you. You can do it. Some ketchup. I feel like it really... Please, really don't do good. this. No, I know it looks like the sriracha, but no. No. Not too much. Oh! Stir it up. Not too much. Don't add any. Ketchup and rice, no! What is this? What, what are you making? Are you trying to make fucking Spanish rice or are you trying to make kimchi fried rice? What is this? Okay, so after I add anything else, what I do is kind of flatten it. Uh-huh. Because I want to make it crispy. That is my goal. Okay. I have it on... Well, you know, any hole's a goal. I mean... Medium. Don't put it too high because it will burn. Uh, okay. And you're just gonna do this process. She could cook this 100% fine the rest of the way. And nothing is going to take away the fucking ketchup from the, from the equation. That is gonna be a part of the equation. I, I know I lied to you about being able to will her not to put the ketchup in. And I'm sorry, but I needed to brace you for the impact. Times it depends on how fast, but that is what makes it crispy. Right. We okay. Add about four pieces of it. Uh, These ones. It's a cabbage. I never knew what kimchi was. Apparently, it's marinated pretty cabbage. Pretty pieces. So. Okay. And then I add some of the flavoring, obviously, because that is what makes it really good. I don't uh, cabbage. Okay. Add some sesame seeds. So I added the kimchi. Now I'm just gonna put some. How American do you need to like? <laughs> like you're making kimchi fried rice, right? And and at what point in the process do, does the does the red, white, and blue blood that courses through your veins just take over and say, Nah, you know what? Add some ketchup. Yeah, that's what you need. Hands. Um, green onion. Yeah. Onion, whatever you want to call it. Okay, add the scunions, add the sesame seeds. You know, you know, I forget who it was. It might have been my dad, actually, or it might have been some comedian who made the point that 
Sesame seeds. You know sesame seeds? The most valueless thing in the world. You can buy sesame seed buns for the same price as normal buns. What is, what is the life of a sesame farmer like? I guess... Uh, well, I was gonna say, I guess, I guess opium, but no, that's poppy seeds. Man, sesame seeds really are suffering. Yeah, and this looks almost okay, except that you know there's this niggling idea in, in the back of your head. And yes, apparently niggling is an okay word that I'm allowed to say. That, don't forget, there's ketchup involved in this whole equation. This whole time, there's ketchup going on. Remember, you do not, not even that much, but it's enough. To burn it. The memory remains. It is easy to do. <laughs> easy to fuck up. And then just go through the process again. Uh -huh. So for the final like product, I know again this is gonna be weird for some people, but oh, no. I add raw onion to the bottom. What? It adds so much flavor. If you do not like raw onion, then okay. don't do this part. All right, fine. I like onion, fine. Normally, I like this a little crispier, but I think today that is good. So what I do is the final thing. Mm -hmm. I add a little bit more greens. Right. A little bit more raw. <sighs> fine, I okay. You guys enjoyed. Yeah, it looks fine. It looks like a perfectly acceptable plate of rice that you would shove into somebody's face and then they'd take one bite and go, Why does this taste like ketchup? What American made this? Um, okay. So, tuna mash recipe. <sighs> Listen, that sounds pretty bad. Somebody down there is making her tuna mash recipe. And now I want to know what that's about. Tuna mash. What, what is this? Did she say? Does that... No. Hash browns. Alright. You know what? No. You know what? I'm good. I'm good. I think we're good on Amberlynn. It's been about an hour. A little over an hour. I've got some other stuff I'd like to get to. Maybe we should move along. But let's check the chat here. See what's going on. That's a huge amount of food for one person. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, no. Listen, I know it's Amber Lynn and memes, but like I can put away five tu I can put away five fully loaded tuna melts for lunch and then and then eat and then put away a pizza for dinner a few hours later. I'm not even like You you would expect me to be glued to my chair right now, but uh, at least I go for walks. I don't know. Only ogres eat onions raw and George Costanza. Fuck it, add some peanut butter to it. Why not? God is already dead. I, you know, exactly. That that point, like, there's no saving it. It's fucking raw! Gordon Ramsay has left the chat. Jesus did not die for this. Stop! You violated the law! Why would you eat raw onions? Raw onions aren't so bad if you have them on, like, a burger or something. But, I don't know, with the rice? I mean, I don't, I don't know, it's weird. Praise you covering ALR. Well, if this is what the people want, <laughs> what's what is the life of a sesame farmer? Exactly. How to get fat 101. Please put more ketchup on, on in it. Fucking ketchup in rice. There is ketchup in there. Sesame sauce is good. Kelly Birmingham just says, hmm. Hmm. I agree. That's the that's the the correct response. <laughs> At least my country is real. U.S. 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 Who is this degenerate? Who is this bitch? Who bitch disease? Sketty and rice. Frenchies made mustard ice cream. Dude, tuna, tuna gelato. Thank you, Italy. America. Add some sketty. You gotta make this now, DD. Legitimately looks like cat sick. Um, kuncha, cooked ketchup. I mean, you can add ketchup to like a ground beef mixture for your burgers or something, and that's okay. Tuna what now? Tuna gelato. Yes, it's real. Paul, please growl into the mic for me. Yo. Uh, um, yeah, I heard about tuna gelato like 20 years ago. When I was a kid, 
we lived in like the Ontario area and they had um there's this one channel which is like general international channel where they just played like Italian stuff and Indian stuff and any people that were in the city I guess and during the Italian hour they had like a I guess Italian English news I don't really know and they they were like yeah there's tuna gelato in Italy you can eat that it's real uh, anyways so I think that's about good for Amberlynn next up on the docket we got uh, a different girl we're gonna be taking a look at somebody named cooking with simply Sarah and as you can see <laughs> we're not too this won't be too foreign from what we've just been watching uh, this will probably be dirt pudding now I'm sure that's just like cocoa. I'm sure that's just like, like Mississippi mud pie. It's not a real, but oh boy, mac and cheese Maui, Buckeye balls, cranberry white chocolate biscotti, ch classic chocolate chip cookies, mushroom stroganoff, breakfast casserole, no bake chocolate eclair cake, my homemade chili. Well, you know what. I want to look at the tater tot casserole too, but let's look at my homemade chili and see how it compares to Amber Lynn's. So this is Simply Sarah. Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make a big kettle of chili since it's getting colder weather. I got my kettle on. Okay. It's heating up. And I've already put in... Okay, now to be fair to this lady right off the bat, this looks like the kind of lady who's gonna make some delicious fucking food. It might be something to, to, to like make a joke about here or there, but let's be honest. This is the kind of lady. This this, this, this is this is like like how Mama used to make kind of lady. Two you know? pounds of ground beef, and this Two is Two pounds of beef. 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 That's right. Actual fucking beef, like a human being. It's, uh, ninety ten. So um, he's gonna not probably put out much fat and juices as huh. other ground beef would do. I've got a tablespoon. She is struggling to get through just like this sentence. It, this is kind of, I, I don't know, this feels wrong to even of, watch. Uh, minced garlic and then a whole onion that I needed to use okay. up in the refrigerator. Some red, some um, white onion. So I had a whole onion all together oh, chopped, man. large This onion. is worse than Amberlynn. I mean, not in terms of the cooking, but in terms of like, dear God, lady, are you sure you're okay? I know everybody loves their food, but but We're just gonna brown this all up. Okay, my right. beef, it's still a little bit of pink. It's mostly done. Uh -huh. Now we're going to put in one bell pep green bell pepper that's been chopped. And my... Uh, beef didn't really put hardly out any uh, fat. You can barely make out any of the words she's saying. This is this is. So I'm not going to worry about draining it. Oh boy. Since it was so lean. Now we're going to put in two tablespoons of chili powder. That's what I have left in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is significantly more than two tablespoons. I, I'm going to tell you this much. A tablespoon. That's about half a jar. Of cumin. Which is fine. It's chili now, powder. This is all it's, to your taste. It's kind of Some yeah. It's to taste. Really. Okay. Now Some salt. A little bit of cayenne pepper for some heat. And I like to put my spices in so it'll kind of heat up and toast up a little bit before we start adding our other stuff. Yeah, now that's we're how going you to do it. In. I might not be able to make fun of this lady, actually, because at the end of the day, she's making the chili pretty much the way I'd make it. I'd probably add the green pepper, like, around the same time that, you know, I add the beef. But, I mean, this isn't bad. Two this isn't so terrible. Cans of, uh, Dark red kidney beans. That's right. I just rinsed them and drained them okay, real that's good. A bit, that's a bit more kidney bean than I would... Oh, boy. Uh, 
Not well. We won't skip yeah. around. It'll yeah, be you fine. can use any kind of beans you want. You want chili beans with the what kind of beans? Tell me more about the beans. I need to know about the beans. I'm thinking about those beans. With their sauce, you can use pintos, black beans, northern white beans, any kind of beans that you would like. We're gonna put 146 ounces of tomato juice. What is with these fucking people using tomato juice? I have never cooked with tomato juice once in my life. And 90% of my diet is either tomato sauce or pizza or something. <laughs> something with tomato. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm the crazy one. I don't know. That whole thing of tomato juice. And I'm using about a cup and a half of water. You don't need that much water no, if you're making... Wait till this comes out. With the juice, you don't... Take a good bowl, and we're going to turn it down and simmer it for about 30 minutes. While it's coming up to a bowl, I taste it, and it's still not as spicy as I like my chili, uh, chili to be. So I'm going to put another tablespoon or two of... Um, you know what? You know what? This is a fine chili recipe. I, I think I, I feel bad, honestly, because... Because really the only thing you can say about this lady is she's a, a very large woman, which, you know, I guess that's, it's a, it's a free country, you know, I, if she wants to be that way, that's, that's fine, and she wants, she likes, she likes her food, that's, that's, that's cool. It looks like she's making pretty good food, honestly. I might, maybe the dirt pudding looks bad, it might be bad, but. But the mac and cheese my way looks like pretty good mac and cheese. I gotta be honest with you. I don't know. I might not be able to make fun of this lady. I mean, fairly and 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 okay, and uh, I mean, anyways. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> broccoli salad, Jenna Marvels tutorial. Yeah, I don't know. Here we got some more Amber Lynn, fucking chicken and noodles. If I find anything that's particularly of interest. Oh my god, what is this? What the fuck? Oh no, what is this? It's like a fucking Tupperware, foot-long Tupperware tub of, of shit. Welcome to another episode of Simple Sarah. Today on the show, oh. we're going to make cornbread salad. Now what you need to do is bake you some cornbread. You can do homemade cornbread, like I did. Remember everybody, just make you some cornbread. Uh. Or use Boxster 2 or the little Jiffy, whatever you want to use. And it depends on how much cornbread you want in yours. This is a whole pound of cornbread that I baked and let it cool and then crumble it up. This is going to be the sauce for okay. our cornbread salad. A cup and a half of sour cream. A okay. cup of mayo. A packet oh, of no. rich Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything that could be like a, a somewhat nauseating white creamy substance. You've got fucking ranch dressing. You've got fucking mayo. You've got fucking sour cream. <laughs> wow. Dressing dry mix. And then I'm oh, it's dry mix. Okay, well, in that case. Salt and some paper. Okay. I'm gonna mix it. That is like a whole jar, a whole fucking jar of mayo. That is a lot of, of food. I know I can, I said I can put away a lot of sandwiches myself, but that is a s concerning amount of food. And then I'm gonna thin it out with about a tablespoon or two of milk. You know, we see her cooking all this food for what you would presume is probably her family. But then you also see her, and it's like... <laughs> how big how big do you think her family is, actually? You know, at the end of the day, this is quite a lot of food. Are we talking eight people? Two? Did she eat any of them? Okay, now I'm just being cruel. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take some. I am making pretty mean jokes here, but overall, like in the in my in the depths of my heart, this is, seems like a perfectly nice lady who's making some. Well, in this case, kind of disgusting looking food, but I mean. Yeah, this mixture, at least. I don't know. I like mayo in okay. small no, doses. I like sour cream. Mm -hmm. it, that looks like quite a fucking lot of it, but. And don't worry, you know. it's gonna get messy because we're gonna cover up and do layers in here. Other stuff, it might not be the worst, maybe. 
And if you thin it out a little bit more, it'll really soak down into the cornbread. But don't do it too thin. See, now I feel like what people made, I like, I can't, I can't make jokes about the size of this lady. Because she just, like I say, she just seems like a nice, I don't know anything about her being a horrible person like Amberlynn Reed. So every time I make some comment about this lady's weight, I feel bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. If somebody in the chat is like, like I felt bad calling K this bitch when I was doing the first K video. There was a part where I was like, let me get this straight, this bitch. And I felt bad about it because she seemed like a nice old lady. And then people in the comments were like, yeah, you know, she's like a fucking giant racist and, and a bitch online and like really shitty to people. And I was like, oh, okay, I probably shouldn't have edited that, uh, edited that out then. If somebody in the chat tells me that this lady kicks puppies, then I'll be all on board with making memes about her. But at this point, One, this is just some slightly questionable two, three, food. I don't know. Milk. Don't do any more. I don't think I'm going to say anything about more about her. Her appearance, that just seems, seems real good. Normally, this is the bean you use, but if you want to change up her beans to do right. kidney or the, any of the white. Okay, no, I like the... I like... I'm thinking about those beans, but why would you add beans to this? Things like northern beans, maybe some black eyed peas, or do a mixture of it? Uh, you can. And I'm just going to push the layers down into the cornbread. Because we got a lot of layers to go in here and okay. drain real good and rinse. So there's corn. Let's do. So there's, there's cornbread, there's sour cream and mayo with ranch dressing, there's fucking. There's there's beans, and now there's corn, and Ooh, now what's she doing? Onion, chopped onion. I've got a little bit of white onions. Right here, Cause I needed to use some up. Right. Okay. Do a little. Yes, mom. Yellow and red and orange in my fridge. So about okay. one bell pepper. This looks pretty good. Come on. Or chopped like, up. What do you I know everybody in the chat is in that mode, and I'm there too, cause I'm hosting the stream. I'm like, we're in that mode where we 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 kind of want to hate we. we Voice crack, that's cool. We kind of want to be like dickheads and we want to be like, oh, shop, look at that food. Ugh. But, like, this looks pretty good. Come on. This is like a nice, like, vegetable mixture and there's, like, onion and there's there's the cornbread. Cornbread's pretty nice. This is probably pretty good, I gotta say. you want to eat. Then we're gonna put a layer of some shredded cheddar cheese down. Oh, baby. Yeah. You're just gonna counteract all of whatever healthiness there almost was in this recipe. A good a large tomato chopped. Uh huh. On goes the rest of. Okay, you don't want to put your tomato on top of the cheese. You want to put the cheese on top of. Or ranch it's fine. dressing. Oh, and that goes, more of that okay. goes on top. Okay, you come with a little bit more cheese. Uh. Okay, now I'm starting to feel nauseated. Like when it was one layer of ranch sour cream mayo dressing, it, that was one thing. But now there's two layers and multiple layers of cheese and like, uh, boy. You got the beans, you got the cheese, you got all that dairy, you got the fucking onions. This is not going to be a good, this is not, I pity that bathroom. Oh my Still god. more. Bacon bits. Bacon bits, okay. And your final layer is some chopped green onion. Oh boy, it's like we never left Amberlynn's channel. So this is an amazing... I how like do you even eat this? Like, how do you serve this? Do the layers in a, like a clear container or one of them glass trifle bowls uh -huh. so you can see the layers. Some people just dump it all in a bowl and mix it. So whatever you want to do. What? So it's just a bunch of shit in a, in a bowl then. The end result is it's just a bunch of shit. That's what I'm getting from this. It's just a bunch of shit. Also, there's only one layer of cornbread. So, like, for the entire top of this fucking thing, all you're getting is cheese and fucking dairy shit and ma mayo and, like, and, like, sour cream and beans and corn. And more, like, dra oh, 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 no, no. Why isn't there two layers of cornbread? That, no. I like to look at all the layers. And then you put a lid. I like to look at the layers. On it, let it chill in the fridge for about two to three uh -huh. hours and take it out and scoop you out. Yeah, you know, diabetes and chill. Okay, so there's that. Uh, that's very questionable food. Uh, here we've got an update on her condition from three years ago. You know, I don't, this is, listen, listen. 
She seems like a nice lady with a nice uh, husband. Presumably, uh, I mean, gee. I mean, that guy must really love her cooking. Let's say that much. Hey, I mean, he probably really loves her cooking, all right? So I, I feel kind of bad making fun about, uh, of this lady. She seems like a very nice lady. I don't know much about her, but, but you know, she seems fine, and she's, she's just making some, some, some food. Some of it looks disgusting, but, you know, not, every, not everything can be a winner. Uh, let's, let's take a look now. Now it is time to observe ah uh, yes if you thought we were done from Amber Lynn to this lady to two sisters who are known for being shitty people so I can make fun of their appearance Slayton sisters cooking <laughs> there she is there's cool cat just uh, take it take a look at that take that in take this appearance in this is what we're about to click on everybody we're about to pick we're about to click on this so just consider this before we before we get started let me just check the chat How do you develop that much fat on your... I don't know. She's got a forehead fupa. It's it's kind of messed up. Uh, roach salad, pog champ. Girl defined. <laughs> I don't think they're sisters. I think they're just... I think they just got made in a factory somewhere. Uh, yes, the pie. Um... Do the Slayton fudge? Is that this one, the peanut butter fudge down here? Maybe. We might look at that one. I like fudge. It's, I don't know. How, how are you going to fuck up? Because I feel like a lot of people might just be like, oh, look at this thing. And then I look at it and it's like, oh, yeah, no, that's just, that's just how you make fudge pretty much. It's fatty, but like, I don't know. Maybe she fucks it up. I, I don't know. Uh, I just keep playing with my digi vice during all this chaos. Oh yeah, her husband is skinny. I was just joking. Does she say Scoopy out? Because that's adorable. Uh, the top layer is needed to be thinner and the cornbread, cornbread needs to be way thicker with like five C's. Celeste knows what she's talking about. Yeah, I would say two layers of cornbread probably would be what you're looking for. Beans are the vegan man's meat. Well, what if you, what if you like your beans with your meat? You know? Um, there's barely any meat. I think it's for presentation. Um, sorry, I can't hate on Sarah. And then later this person says, most of the South is drunk. <laughs> exactly. You can't blame their poor choices on drink, on, on, on their food or, or whatever, their eating habits. It's, it's, it's alcoholism. And speaking of which... Very good. Very, very nice and hot. Um, that looks thick. Claw, why are we watching this lady? She seems like a good person and a decent cook. Well, that's the thing. Like, I don't know. I saw some people memeing on her. I saw some weird looking recipes and I thought, Simply Sarah. There you go. I didn't watch any of the, I didn't watch any of the videos. I was, because my thing is always I want to go in with the same reaction that you guys have. If I spoil the fun by watching all the videos first, then it's like, then where's the, where's the fun in that? So, yeah, every once in a while I might stumble upon somebody who is not a complete piece of shit on the internet. I know, it's wild, but sometimes you see somebody like Simply Sarah and she just seems like a nice lady making some admittedly very weird food. Anyways... Speaking of nice ladies and uh, and and things that aren't that, th here's "Bake with Me" by Amy Slayton Halterman. Now I don't know too much about these sisters, but I think they s fucking lied to their fans or scammed them or something. Didn't they like pretend? Didn't one of them pretend to have like a surgery or something like that? And then like the very next day, she was back making like. 
I, I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? Engage. Uh, here we go. Get ready for it. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Alright. Listen. Okay. I know what everybody's thinking. And I know it's probably not original to make a Jabba the Hutt joke. But... Hi, y'all. Um, Hi, y'all. So, for 18,000 subscribers, I'm gonna bake a lemon butt cake. Okay. Um, let me spray my... Woo! Pan. Real quick. Uh-huh. Lemon bunt cake. Alright, that's what we're doing. That's quite a lot of spray I've there. I preheated the oven to 350. Okay. It's preheating now. Wow. And this is what brand I'm using. Wow. Her arms look like blunt weapons in fucking Skyrim. Wow. It's preheating now. And this is what brand I'm using. And Speaking of Elder Scrolls, anybody remember that dwarf guy, the spider dwarf from Morrowind? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, this is the... Rich and creamy. There's many things that could be done with this, this frame of this image right now. Many things. Very exploitable. Not that I'm making any and suggestions. I'm not in this pan. Okay. Are these two still, like, around? Are these two still fucking alive? I haven't heard about them in some time. I said that, didn't I? So I'm just gonna follow the regular instructions on the back. You'll need three large eggs. So she's making a cake mix. That's, the, that's her video. She's making a fucking cake mix. Are you fucking kidding me? First we have DSP's fucking noodles, and now this... Here's the mix. Stop make- okay, listen. War word to any people on the internet who are thinking of making cooking videos. Don't make a video called bake with me or cook with me or anything like that. If the by far the vast majority of the shit you're making comes from a box. Even, listen, if it's stuff that comes from a box and you got to assemble it yourself, that's fine. But when it's literally a cake mix, that's not fine. I'm on my iPhone, so I've been filming a lot with this lately. Um, I hope y'all can hear me. Uh, Excuse me. Oh no. my god, wow. Oh boy. Uh, it's, it's like, it's, it's, uh, wow. Um, is that actually... Guys, can we can we acknowledge the little channel subscribe icon down here? Can we acknowledge the the reality versus fiction that's going on in this in this subscribe icon down here? Can we just acknowledge this? Oh boy. Uh okay. I wish y'all could have some of this cake for real. Um, Reels. Yeah, we can we can have some of this cake. I can go to the store right now and buy that cake. I can indeed do that. Okay, with that I need one cup of water. So I got my handy dandy cup. It tells you <laughs> handy dandy. Right there, one cup, and then one fourth cup. No, one third, which is this one. Measuring bowls? What? I have never seen that kind of thing before, but okay. Says one third. A cup of oil. It's like, yeah, thank you for lining out for us how to make, how to follow the instructions on the back of a box. Which one is this? Is this Amy or the other one? It says it's Amy. Oh, I guess it is, because she's got the red in the hair. Oh, my mistake. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put in my eggs first, though. Got one egg. Okay. <clears throat> hey, at least she's using actual Oops. eggs. And three. Let's 
three large eggs. I don't even know, like, at this point I'm just watching this to make fun of this lady who's apparently kind of a shit. I don't even know how you can fuck up a cake mix, so, like, we're just watching a lady make a cake mix. There's not that much that can go wrong with it, but somehow, you know, life Cup finds a way. And the big one. Here's the big one. Pour that in. On an unrelated note, 20 people killed in shooting rampage in Texas. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, back to something marginally more disgusting. And then, for olive oil, I'm using some, uh, it's just regular cooking oil. Right, okay, great. So, yeah, you made the cake mix according to the fucking directions. And, oh god, what appendage are we looking at? This looks like some skin. What skin are we looking at? This could be very not safe for work right now. I don't feel comfortable. Hide your children. Hide your wife. Oh, it's just an arm. Never mind. No, no. You know what? Still mind. Hide your children. Hide your wife. Hide yourself. Why are we looking at her arm? What are you doing? Okay, yeah, we can hear this. Wow. Okay, if you're wondering why I'm skipping now, it's because we literally can't hear her talking. Uh... Right, like, it's a cake mix. There is no way to fuck up a cake mix unless you keep, like, eggshells in the bowl. And even then, you'd probably whisk them in, so... Of the where, where, whereabouts in the United States? What state does she live in? I'm just wondering how many earthquake warnings there tends to be there on, on her more active days. Uh, to a thousand, let alone nine thousand. Uh, talking about weight here, uh, or power level. Some of you might be wondering, dude, why are you making so many jokes about about a lady just for her weight? Hey, listen. From what I know about this lady, she's a she's a bit of a she's a, a bit of a a, a uh, well, we can't say cunt because that would be wrong and sexist. So we can call her a dick instead because that's okay and not sexist. Uh, yeah, she's a bit of a she's a bit of an asshole from what I've heard. I don't know. Maybe she's the nicest person person in the world, but I just call them as I see them. Listen, <laughs> like. Okay, let's just watch. No, you know what? Just gotta watch that. That's good. Very important. Clean it up a little. Yeah, just clean that up. That's good. Get that on your tongue. Very good. I'm trying to clean it up a little. Oh, yeah. Gotta see it again. Just for posterity's sake. There you go. Very nice. Very Here's good. what it looks like now. So. Okay. Ah! I'm gonna pop this in the oven. What happened? Hold on, let me get those out. Um. Okay, we can't hear anymore. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you made a fucking cake mix, lady. Like, what? You want a fucking award? I'm gonna start icing. Okay, now remember. Scoop the icing onto the cake. Don't eat it all with a spoon. We've went through seven tins of icing at this point, I Amy. I like it that way because it's easier to spread the icing. That shit is expensive. So just using a... Butter knife. Use a butter knife to spread your icing on your cake if you want to slice your cake to pieces. Um, right, so. Yeah, I mean, pre, pre made icing, pre made cake, you know, it's not. And then when I use my tablet, that's a, a iPad Air. Uh huh. Right, okay, great. Pretty uh -huh. much what it is. Th thank you, Mom. I just do the top layer and let it... Hit on run, mom. Yes, thank you. 
So right, okay, so she made a boxed cake. It's Perfect. We're very proud of you. Congratulations. You, you made a cake from a box. And this frame never appears to have shown up in the video once. I'm very upset about that. Uh, but here's, here's the fudge recipe. Mama, Hul Mama Halterman's peanut butter fudge. Which somebody up here says roach fudge. Uh, I think we're in for something good here. I think we're in for, for some interesting business. Very hey y'all, it's Amy. Today I'm doing a video. Plus I'm updating you on Dobby. Come here, Dobby. Oh no, what did you do to the dog? Listen. Listen. Okay, you can't bring a dog onto the screen with one of those little neck cones and not expect people to have, like... <laughs> not expect people to laugh a little bit. Like, it's it starts as a laugh because dog and neck cone is, like, a funny thing. But then you go, wait a second, what did you do to your dog? Did you sit on your dog? What the fuck happened? We had some... He got neutered, so he has to wear a cone for a week. What? Why does the... What? But other than that, he's... Oh, I guess so he doesn't, like, 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 lick at himself or whatever. Like, pick at the stitches or something. Man, we are really cruel to dogs. Just imagine if, 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 if some alien race came down and decided to own us like dogs. And then they were like, yeah, I'm just gonna go get my person neutered. Yeah, he's just been having too much free will and having fun around the neighborhood with the other free dogs that exist. I'm sorry. Now I'm getting into, like, philosophy. He's playing around, doing fine. He's up to date on his shots. And, yeah, mommy's poor baby got fixed. Why would you do that? He's up to date on his no. shots. We don't have all those tags on. It's like mama's poor baby did this thing. Yeah, so don't do it. I mean, I know... I know it's like a thing where, oh, he, he won't stop fucking the other dogs in the neighborhood or whatever, but like, I don't know, I feel like that's a, just a, just a shitty thing to do to your pet. Is it this thing? Fuck he it is up to date on all of them. So it's a little bit. I'll right, fit right, now. Okay. Are we going to make this fudge oh. or not? Come here, little. If you never seen little bit, oh you should go with a bud, boy. I don't think she's ever seen a little bit in her life. I don't think she's. Well. She okay, was really great. old. Dog. She's a Chihuahua pug, and he's a full Chihuahua. Oh. Mama Halterman gave right, us some re a recipe to try. Mama Halterman. And I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys because the holidays coming up. Right. And you gotta get into it. Gotta gotta get us into that Christmas spirit. Super you know? simple, super easy. All you need is two ingredients. Mm-hmm. Dabba do, you need frosting. Uh -huh. You can either use chocolate or vanilla. Right. I'm using vanilla because that's what we want to try first. Uh huh. And if we like it, we'll cook some for the holiday, uh, like Christmas. Um, you know, it's always nice to have a little Christmas or some candy coming over. When okay, I've never heard of fucking fudge be uh, being made with like frosting. Uh, okay, uh, we got two ingredients in this, and apparently one of them doesn't go in fudge, so... You got family? I'm like curious. Family. I'm guessing the second one is probably peanut butter, because it's peanut butter fudge. So I don't know how she's turning frosting and fucking peanut butter into fudge, but, uh... Have them coming over? Okay. You fix that in a moment's notice, and then you need peanut butter. Uh-huh. It can be any kind of peanut butter. Okay, why are you putting on, like, a Southern Bell accent now? As long as it says cream. Um, I don't know if she used chunky. They don't like chunky peanut butter. But I'm pretty sure you could if you wanted to. Um, as long as I it says creamy. Stuff, but, that was stuff. So, but you could probably also use chunky. Just as long as it's full. Ounce, this is gluten-free, non-GMO. And it is 16 ounces. This one is 16 ounces as well. So, great. Get a Pe bowl, a the spoon, and then oh, to put oh, your oh, stuff oh, in, oh. you can get a Pyrex and line it with tin foil. So mm -hmm. all you have to do when you get the stuff out, 
you just take off the tin foil. Wow, well, it's like I have to look at her shirt, uh, because it's like I can't. It's like looking at the sun, you know. You you can't like stare too long in the. Uh, wow, I'm being crueler than I probably <laughs> should be, but it's it's fine. We're far um, enough into the into the recording. Nobody. Let me go get the blood. <laughs> the Wall Street Journal won't watch this far. It'll be fine. So once you put the butter in there, uh -huh. put the frosting. Make sure there's no um, foil on uh -huh. the frosting. All, only on this kind of like. <laughs> I've never seen somebody say before. Make sure you don't use the tin foil part that that like covers up the frosting. Because that, that feels like something they might have accidentally done in the past. And they're like, hey, you really want to make sure you don't do this stupid thing that nobody would have ever done. <laughs> you make sure you don't do that. Okay. So you take this. Oh, there you go. Get it all Just out. Put it in there. The whole job. Oh, yeah. Visual representation of her after a night of cooking. Got the peanut butter. Get out every last drop. You gotta get it. And all you do is whoop. Uh huh. Wow, that's amazing. It's almost like that has nothing to do with fucking fudge. Two ingredients. I don't know where the cockroaches come in. Maybe I skipped over the cockroach. I don't know. Dobby can't have this. Maybe this cockroaches on the on the floor that I'm not looking at. You treat in a minute. Dobby and little bits like ice and fire, like he's just wild. fucking peanut butter and 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 frosting. Crazy, and she's tame and so tame and calm. What? Okay, can we can we address what the fuck is this woman saying? I just noticed, like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how she arrived at this ridiculous fucking recipe for fudge. But but as I think about it, I'm, I'm trying to decipher what the fuck she's saying. Ice and fire. Like Ice and fire. wild and crazy and she's tame and so oh, okay. tame and calm. Yeah, you gotta really be, like, deliberate and pay attention to what she says, because if you don't, you're never gonna know. That's, uh, that's some mumbling. Oh, and please pray for those who are in, affected in the wildfire up oh, in, okay. I think it's... One like equals one prayer, everybody. We'll say LA, but I think it's more in um, uh huh, San Francisco area. No, I don't think it's. I think it's like every part of California, actually. So please pray for them, and also Happy Veterans Day. While I'm filming this, is shut up. This is hands dirty. I'm gonna finish mixing it with this hand. I'm sorry if you're watching this and you're like, why are you being so cruel? I don't understand. She's just ha wishing somebody a happy Veterans Day. Why are you saying shut up? And it's like, man, we are two hours into this almost. I can't pretend that I, like, <laughs> I don't know. There's just the thing when people try to be, like, uh, folksy or whatever, and they're like, make sure y'all pray for the, for the victims of the whatever. It's like, shut up. What the fuck? Happy whatever day! You fucking, we're watching you mix fudge. We're walk it, watching you mix peanut butter and frosting. Like, we're not, we don't care about fucking... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just in a bad mood, I think. Bobby. Where you going, Bobby? Oh, no more diapers for Dob? He sleeps with us now, but he has to sleep in his cone. Poor baby. Oh, that's good. That's great. We cut off his dick so he would have the, pl the privilege of sleeping in the bed with us. 
with me and my, I guess, sister. I guess they sleep in the same bed? I don't understand. I, oh, she said us. I don't know, but... Yeah, we just, we just fucking mutilated our dog. So that it would be able to sleep with us, you know, because I'm sure it really wanted okay. to. So that's good and well combined. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back. I'm like not even a dog owner and yet the dog fixing thing is suddenly pissing me off. <laughs> Fuck you, Bob Barker. So the next step, put it in your paper. Or tin Someone's still in the car outside. Good luck. Don't get caught. Pick a good one. There's a lot of shitty ones out there. Pick one with air conditioning. Oh, had okay, so she's scooping the shit into, I guess, a can. <laughs> it was so funny. Like, and now what? The vet had 35 years experience. Uh, so. Dobby! Where you at, boy? Okay, video editing exists. She cut. There was a part there where there was like a fade, where she faded from one clip to the other. So she knows about some rudimentary video editing and yet she decided to keep in all this extraneous fucking shit about her dogs. I guess if you're a fan or whatever, like maybe you, you care about the dogs, but ugh. Why do you like being by side the heater? I guess if it's a vlog thing, maybe it's fine. You're here for the, the personality. Heater? I don't know what it's called. So yeah, I'm just yeah spreading it out. Uh huh. And that's not fudge, Amy. Don't have to make it all pretty looking, but because it's just me and Michael here, I'm gonna give like majority of it to my mom. Uh huh. Probably take some to his mama. Okay, she just got out of breath saying that. Um, listen. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's not fudge. It's not fudge. You can make fudge without baking it. Uh, but that's not fudge, and that's not how you make fudge. And I'm not sure what part of that was fudge. Like, <laughs> also peanut butter, okay, oily. Uh, frosting, made of oil. Probably not the most... I'm gonna say that's a shitty consistency. I think I would throw up if I ate that. Uh, Let's be real. And right. that is a wreck on that. Yeah, okay. All you have to do is wait a couple hours, cut it, and eat it. You know, I'm sure it's probably fine. It is probably okay. Frankly, it's pe it's, 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 it's frosting, it's sweet, you know, tastes okay. And it's peanut butter, it's probably fine. But it's, don't call it fudge. Because it's most definitely not. Um, right. So there's that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of that business. Um, in the kitchen with Tammy Slayton. Oh my god, look at this one. Jesus Christ. Um. Truth of the Slayton sisters. The Slayton Walmart experience. So people have been memeing on these sisters for quite some time. I might have to just make a video about them. <laughs> Although a lot of people have been ma have made videos about them, so... Maybe just go watch KDW's video about them. Um, the Slate and Wall. I really like this art. <laughs> Grilled cheese sandwich. Sandwiche. The Mousquenets. Um, short cooking vlog. All right, well, watch the short cooking vlog. It's two minutes and 38 seconds. Here, here we go. Oh, my God. Can we just... Guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh, God, no. No, I'm sorry. No amount of makeup. I'm sorry. But... Oh, you don't need more oil on your face. Oh. Oh, Carl, you're an idiot. Hey, y'all. So, I want to show you what I'm cooking. Okay. Um, I got some cornbread right there. Okay. And I got some hamburger helper going. And Some what now? Hamburger helper going. Hamburger helper, and huh? Now, people give hamburger helper a lot of shit, and I'm sure all of you in chat are thinking, oh, yeah, I bet you would eat hamburger helper, lady. 
But to be honest, I like Hamburger Helper. It's if you make it right, it's it can be pretty good. It makes good leftovers too. You gotta add spices though. And you gotta like not cook it like an asshole. There's a lot of people that don't know how to make it. Uh but but yeah, it's it's fine. It it can be fine. It's this one. Crispy buffalo ch Jesus Christ. Yeah, they don't sell chicken helper here anymore. They used to, and then they discontinued it when I was like ten, because I guess they realized, yeah, nobody in Canada is is trailer trash enough to eat chicken helper. Um so we got tuna helper here, though, still. And that's even better, actually, than the hamburger stuff. You add a little bit of dill, some, like, some chili powder. Just, just great. As you can see, pasta. No, it's pasta. Okay. No. I deboned it. I'm going to in this water. What, what the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? I deboned it. I'm going to in this water. She just turned into a fucking Borg for a second. And... I got the noodles. Okay. And in the refrigerator. Hold on. The refrigerator, yes. I got a bowl right here. And it's got the season mix, milk, and mayonnaise in it. Mayonnaise, though. Mayonnaise, though. Okay, we don't have chicken helper here, but I've made my share of hamburger helper in the past. And they've never asked for mayonnaise before, Amy. And that's for the, after you get done with the noodles. Uh huh. Mayonnaise, White people really do add mayonnaise to everything. I thought that was just a meme, but wow. Wow, we really do need to be stopped. I'm sorry. I, I have never, you know what? I have been making jokes about the, the self-hating white people who are like, <laughs> on every website now who are like really sad that they were born white and and evil and oppressive i've been making jokes about them for years but you know what i think for the first time i feel really really ashamed of of being born white i think i think everybody just needs to watch the slayton sisters and learn that you know what we really are we really we really were the the, the worst race we made some mistakes but you don't need a string who says white people have no culture? It's called mayonnaise. I'm just frying it up. What even is that? Is that supposed to be chicken? I mean, I guess so. She said she deboned it, but it just looks like it looks kind of like more like bacon than anything. And that's what we're gonna have for supper. My brother has mm -hmm. chicken in the microwave or oven. Oh, okay. Well, what the fuck was that? Wait, if that's chicken in the oven, chicken in the microwave or oven. If that's chicken in the oven, what, what the fuck is that in the pot? Because we're both on diet, that's ours. Uh-huh. Um, he gets a bite, and I get a bite. And then we got some kale greens. He made those. Wait, 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 wait. You're both on a diet. Which one of you is eating the, ha the, the chicken helper? That's not diet food, Amy. They are both on a diet. Can we just... Listen, I know it's hard for some people. I understand that. I understand weight loss does not come easy to everybody. But if you're gonna say that you're on a diet, I think I'm within my rights to look at you and just say, no, I'm sorry, you gotta try a little harder. If, you, if you're if you calling this a diet, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you're making chicken helper right now. And cornbread. Sorry, I'm not very good camera person. And what the fuck is this? It's sewage! Here's the kale greens. Oh, it's kale. It's close enough. He's got a ham hock in it. Oh, and a ham hock. All right. Ham hock. Wow. Wow. Who says white people like have greens. no culture? Unless they're uncooked. So yeah, that's our little dinner for tonight. Along right. with some Kool-Aid. Of course there's Kool-Aid. Why the fuck wouldn't there be Kool-Aid? <sighs> Look at our trash. Look at our trash. She says as she uploads a video. All right. Well, that's uh, that's some Slayton. As you can see, there's a lot of people here who have made videos talking about the Slayton sisters. In fact, if I remember correctly, wasn't didn't Primink do a video about the them? Yeah, sisters scammed hundreds with a funeral. Yeah. 
So if you're sitting here and you're getting upset, also Airsoft Fatty's apparently a liar too. I don't know. It's according to Primic. I like Primic. He's pretty cool. But if you're sitting here and you're wondering, hey, why are you being so rude to these ladies? Or this one lady specifically. It's because they're apparently not very nice ladies. Um, let me check the chat here. See what's going on. I think, I think that might be about it. I think we might move on. Uh, or rather not move on, but, but, but stop. Uh, yes, Primink is great. Is he, has he uploaded in a while, actually? I don't think I've seen a new video from him. The last time I saw a new video from him, I think it was, uh, him fucking standing up for Trisha Paytas, which was not the hill I, I'm looking for my YouTubers to die on, but, you know, everybody's got their opinions. Oh, we got a Slazo, and I'm Alex. Oh boy, there's there's some good drama that I'm not following, and don't don't care to start following. <laughs> um, back back to the chat, back to the chat. Uh, of course, there's Kool Aid, chicken and kale with Kool Aid. Thought that was turkey neck. I screamed. Ham hocks are so good for you. Yeah, I know, right? The diet died. Ew, her oven. Chicken is good. Chicken is good for you if you cook it the right way and you don't have a chicken helper with it. Just the preservatives and shit that they put into the powder stuff alone. Let alone the like seven cups of milk they ask you to add to any given meal. I don't know. Haven't had chicken helper, but if it's anything like hamburger helper or tuna. Uh, garlic mayo is lush. You know what's great? Chipotle mayo or sriracha mayo. Pretty good stuff. Uh, I love Kewpie mayo. Oh, hang on. There you go. Mayonnaise is spicy. <laughs> I agree, fellow Hugh White. Mayonnaise is the spiciest food around. Um, mayo is good in small amounts. Yeah, like I mean, I add mayo. Like I'm not, I'm not on some kind of anti-mayo crusade or something. It's just I. I remember when I was a kid, I used to have mayo on my burgers, and now I can't fathom how I ever thought that was acceptable. Uh, but now I pretty much just have, like, I'll do a mayo dip kind of thing, or do like a mayo, I'll do mayo with something else and put that on as like a topping. Mayo's a good base for like sauces and stuff, but... The way I keep seeing people use it in these videos is just, all right, here's seven fucking pounds of mayo. All right, here's some grease. Don't worry, we got the low-fat soy sauce, though. The thing that has the least fat in the whole fucking dish. We got the low-fat one. It's fine. Mayo's only good for sandwiches. Yeah, like, like maybe a BLT or something. We're back at the mayo. <laughs> Um, Bryson Sayer, two dollars. Hey man, hate your vids. Keep it up. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I, I also hate my vids. Thanks. Um, Jiffy cornbread is awesome. You know, I don't think I've ever had cornbread because I'm Canadian, and we're just a bunch of mistaken <laughs> bad people. I I think cornbread is probably good. I've I've heard of it. I think I might have tried it once or twice. I feel like I've tried it though. Like I say, I haven't, but I feel like I have. I don't know. I don't know, I need to make, I need to, I remember there was this time when I was a kid, actually. I think I know why I, I, th I thought I tried it. We had some cornbread mix in the fucking cupboard for like six years, and we never had it. So it's like, it's like through osmosis, it went bad, and all of the flavors, they, 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 they suffused into my soul, and now I think I know what, what cornbread tastes like. Um, yes, we are back in business. You have to watch their chubby bunny video. Okay, I, I, all right, what is that? Chubby bunny. Oh, okay, I guess this is the one, huh? Yeah, this is the one. 14 minutes, thir 13 seconds, 1.6 million views, the chubby bunny challenge. All right, okay, one final video, and then we're calling it, we're calling it here. This is... The, this is, I guess, the, the one. This is the one that propelled them to internet fame. Such that it is. Uh, here, here it is. Chubby Bunny Challenge. Hey, y'all. 
Um, today we are doing the Chubby Bunny Challenge. With wow. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ornstein and Smo. Oh my fucking god. I thought this one was something else, but man. Man! Oh boy. Can we do a poll? Like... <laughs> Like if you had to pick, if you had to pick one, if if you had no option to escape and it was death by snoo snoo, and your only option was one of these women. Oh my! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jet puff marshmallows. Oh my god! I am good, and I smell. Oh my god, guys, can you hear her voice, though? It's so bad, it's like... <laughs> I thought this one was, like I said, I thought this one was something else. But I have not, I have not encountered Tammy yet in all her, her full-bodied glory. <laughs> I... So let's good. just listen to what she said, what did she say? They merely were, oh my god, they good, and the smell. Uh, excellent. So delightful. So just, chocolatey. Just excellent. They had caramel and strawberry cake. See, now this is the kind of shit that makes me wish that we didn't, that, that, that Canada wasn't like this. It makes me wish that I could move to the United States and could actually get citizenship and, and had skills. <laughs> and could be... Like, cause, cause they have Jet Puff Marshmallows fucking chocolate swirl in a little handy bag. Just for individuals that are this exceptional, like these two ladies. We don't have that here. We have to buy our fucking marshmallow, and they don't have chocolate. We have maple marshmallows. You can get those, but nobody wants those. I love marshmallows. So oh, we can tell. Pause the video now. You know what they say, that you are what you eat. Pause the video now, what was that? So, pause the video now. Okay. And comment, who will win? Who's got the bigger mouth? Who's got the bigger mouth, guys? I don't know. Uh, this is, this is, uh, wow, that, that she, she looks, she looks like a thumb. Okay. I got bigger cheeks, so I think okay. I might win. Can we tell them what we're doing? Wow. Okay, we're doing chubby bunny. It's so where you take one marshmallow, put it in your mouth. Okay. Do not chew, do not swallow. Right. And say chubby butt. And then put another one in your mouth. And say chubby butt. And repeat. Uh huh. So. Who invented this game? Like. <laughs> like what fucking asshole was just looking for an excuse to not. To, to. This feels like such a fat chick trying to lose weight but not trying that hard kind of game you know what I mean like okay all right it's a game where I put a bunch of sweet shit in my mouth and then try not to eat it and then like you, you put in two and you're like uh oh I ate it uh oh oops sorry I guess we have to try again all right put all the shit in your mouth <laughs> like this is such a like <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to lose, I'm trying to, I'm trying to quit drinking alcohol. Only one of these three drinks has, has, has been spiked. And I'm gonna play a shell game, and I'm gonna find, <laughs> like... Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. Guys, look, look. Guys. Look at the profile. She does a profile. <laughs> Oh my god, somebody fucked up the sliders on this create a sim! What the fuck? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! This is what happens when you've stored one too many nuts in your in your cheeks for winter. And you just forgot that they were there. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. <laughs> Every time one of them does it, there's like a look in the other one's eyes where they're like, they're like, SASIGA! Oh! And they're like, <laughs> it's like the challenge is on! This is, this is gonna be, this is gonna be the anime of the century, everybody. 
should be done. Well, I say that, but let's just jump a few minutes ahead here. Jump your bunny. I'm still doing it. Oh, look at, <laughs> look at that. Wow. Sight to behold. Chubby bunny. Wow. This only in America. You know, I say that, but that's not true. We, we know of K. Like, it can get pretty bad outside of America. We give America joke. We give America shit. Because of all of the people in, in mobility scooters eating blocks of cheese at Disneyland. But, like, <laughs> like it can get pretty bad elsewhere, too. Case in point. It's like her forehead is so big that her eyebrows had to, like, move out of the way to make space. <laughs> oh my god. I just... Oh, I don't, I don't, I didn't know it was possible to have forehead fat. I, I didn't know. Okay, just making sure you can see that. One of these days I'm going to get like half, like three videos in and I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I had it on black the whole time. I'm a fucking dope. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Okay, wait, hang on. You're supposed to say Chubby Bunny. What did she say? She can barely get out any words. She can barely get out words when she's not filled to the fucking gills with marshmallows. Like, we saw her previous videos. She is, has trouble speaking full sentences, as is, but... But, oh boy. But she's clearly failed the challenge at this Chubby point. Bunny. She is not even tr- Okay, you- you suck. You- you sit in the corner. We are not even- we're not- we're not that far in here yet. I'm not watching this whole thing because I kind of get the gist. So, yeah, they're using this as an excuse to eat a bunch of fucking marshmallows. I'm pretty sure one of them won the game already because now they're just eating more marshmallows. But it's like four minutes into the, this 14 minute video, one of them was like, oh yeah, I guess I won and I ate more marshmallows. Or couldn't eat all the- whatever. Whatever the stupid fucking rules were. And now they're just eating marshmallows. Just because, hey, like, why not, right? Oh no, I guess they're still doing the, the challenge. They're just doing, like, round two. They needed an excuse to eat more marshmallows. Oh, that's good. Can anybody need a reaction image? Anybody need a new avatar for their, like, Twitter or Facebook or whatever? There you go. There you go, it's right there. It's free! Free use! Free memes! Right there! Just for you! Dude, that's a getting camp thing. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. Okay, gee, I've kinda stopped caring. Alright, well, that- that was the... <sighs> Should I jump to the end? No, I know- I'm not gonna bother. It's gonna be the same fucking thing. That was, uh, some of the Chubby Bunny challenge. Look at this fucking lie of an avatar! Fuck you! Fuck you! Also, business email. Fuck off. Business email. <laughs> but look at this fake-ass avatar. Fuck off with that. Fuck off with this fucking avatar. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well... That was, uh, the Slayton sisters. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that, that, that'll probably be about the stream. Uh, we've seen quite some, quite some shit. Um, and we, we, we saw some Amberlynn Reed cooking. You know when the Amberlynn Reed videos are the best thing we, well, no, that's not true. I was going to say they were the best, they were the, the most competent cooking, but no, actually, the Simply Sarah videos were a lot better. Like, she is a very large lady, and there's no, there's no high, there's no lying about that. You can't, can't ignore that, but, 
but she seems like a perfectly fine lady, and she seems like a pretty decent cook, too. There is a reason. I would get that. I would, uh, listen, if I had that kind of food available to me, I would eat, I would get to that size, too. That is an understandable situation. So, her videos were probably the best, but it's amazing that Amberlynn Reads were actually not so bad. Actually not so bad. Uh, comparatively. Compared to, like, fucking Kay and Jack and DSP. <laughs> um, yeah. So, this was Delicious Culinary Stream Part 2. I don't know if there will be a Part 3. We might make this a continuing series. I'm sure there's more fucking mental chefs on YouTube. I know there's Sandra Lee, but I kind of want to do that reaction. I kind of do. I, I kind of want to cover Sandra Lee with Bane present because he's the one that introduced me to. Actually, if you're not familiar with Sandra Lee, I think Mr. Medicare actually before Medicare and before Internet Aristocrat, he had some video where he and an, another guy commented on. Uh, Sandra Lee cooking videos. <laughs> so I think that's that's where this whole the whole ball got rolling. But yeah, she's one of them. And I'm sure there's others. I know Tommy Tudor is an established chef. So uh, we might look into that. I don't know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching the stream, everybody. Uh, this has been another fun one. I don't know if I'm going to upload this one. This one had some copyrighted music in the beginning, so... Like, Susan's gonna get really mad at me. Uh, I, I don't know. Apparently that's the, the song... A, a, one random song from Tony Hawk's Underground in 2003 is copyrighted on YouTube. And that's enough to get this entire, like, three-hour stream claimed. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Can't you just, like, not even get over how cool that is? YouTube is a fun place. So cool. Um, let's see. I thought you were talking about Dr. Sandra Lee. <clears throat> is, is there a doctor? Maybe she's crazy, too. What about Ulili Leah's Hamburger Helper video? Or his pizza degree? Oh, God, yeah. I guess you guys are going to need to be introduced to Ulili Leah someday. I don't know if that's going to have the same effect, though. People made a lot of memes about Ulili Leah back in the day, but, like... Now in the age of can you beat Super Mario without, like, pressing any buttons... <laughs> I feel like his whole thing about, about like, I don't even remember what his, I know he wanted to make a game, and it was like this really complex, like he, he made it more complex than it, it seemed like it should have been, considering it was just like a really simple game maker looking game, I don't know, but, but yeah, um, I might have to look in, I might have to just introduce you all to Ulili Lea as a, as a character at some point, um, You've introduced me to a lot. Uh, well, I hope I hope you, um, Creeper, do Sandra Lee. Um, true love is feeding your girl to five hundred pounds. Like I'm not gonna lie with you. I, I, I'm I'm or rather I'm not gonna say you're wrong. Like you're not you're not wrong. I mean, I, I like me a thick girl, but <laughs> there's. There's, uh, everything in moderation, you know? Um... Mm. Best stream ever. Oh, I, t I definitely disagree. They didn't pay for the Avatar, though. Didn't she scam some people out of their money? Exactly! That's the reason why it's okay that we make fun of her appearance. Exactly. <laughs> the moment... The moment you act like a dickhead on the internet, it's free reign, motherfucker. Like, I, I'm gonna be the nicest personal- I f listen, I don't try to be a jerk to everybody. I'm a very nice person in real life. But, my philosophy is if you're gonna be a dickhead online, like, you know, uh, I don't- I don't- The gloves come off, like, it's- it's- You put it out there, frankly, mm, I don't know, um... Smooth me, daddy. Is it bad to say I miss Kay's cooking? You know, like, like, everything's relative to, to an extent. What an adventure this was. Chubby Bunny trivia game. Yo, is not Chubby Bunny in 2019. Is Big Chungus. You're right, you're right. 
Um, she looks like the angry marshmallow giant in the original Ghostbusters. You know, these are the these are quotes from the chat. These aren't from me. I I'm not saying these things. I cannot even fathom eating so much to get to this point. <laughs> Can you cunny bubby by yourself though? I don't know. I think you're. I think after a certain amount of my streams, some some people who have been here for a while are starting to uh, encounter. They're starting to develop a minor case of major brain damage. I'm just noticing some long-term people in the chat who are like devolving into into like fits of, of just. Like random characters, it's like, are you okay? I know, I know, just an RPG was a lot. I'm sure you had some brain cells rearranged by the music yesterday, but everything's gonna be all right. Just breathe, just breathe. Um, let me check the super chats here. Probably all caught up, but uh, oh no, no. Salvador Hernandez, two dollars. Mayonnaise cake, dot dot dot. Also high. Thank you very much, and. Uh, Actually, yeah, that's that's it. That's all caught up. Well, thank you guys again for stopping by this wonderful, terrible stream. Uh, I don't know if I'll go live again tomorrow. I might finally try to stream the herbs for the Game Boy Advance. I did that like six months ago or something, and my internet was terrible, and my computer was terrible, and it was a, a shit show. Uh, but I, I might... I might try to introduce the world to the, the, the wonder that is the herbs for Game Boy Advance. Um, if not, I don't know, might try to think of something else crazy. Um, might just not even stream tomorrow, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I've been playing some God Eater 2 on PS Now recently. And I'm probably going to go back to that after after the stream's done. It's, it's an addictive... It's... Uh, I like how PS Now has every fake Monster Hunter, except for, like, real Monster Hunter. They've got fake Monster Hunters that I've never even heard of. They've got... I don't know what Tokaiden or Tok Tokiden Kiwami is, but I think, ya I think the Yakuza people are going to be pretty mad. Translators note, Kiwami means extreme. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, now I'm just rambling about video games, because I have trouble ending the streams in a way that's satisfying. Um, which is why I normally just end them by blurting out PENIS like an idiot. <laughs>